Right to you. This was the magic we were looking for right here. Oh, hello there. Hi. <laughs> it is winter time and when the cooler weather comes to Florida, that usually means that the Florida manatees will start to migrate to the springs for the warmer water temperatures. There is only one place in all of North America where you can illegally swim with the manatees, and that is right here in Citrus County, Florida. I'm Danny702 and welcome to Home of Sasso, Florida. Today we are in for a real Florida adventure and we just might get the chance to swim with the manatees. Located about 90 minutes from Orlando is the beautiful Homosassa River, where the water temperatures stay 72 degrees year round. Hundreds of manatees migrate here to escape the cold weathers of the sea, which makes this area one of the best places to view the gentle giants. We are starting off our adventure here at the Florida Cracker Riverside Resort, where we will be jumping on a boat and taking a short river cruise down to the swimming area, and hopefully we'll be seeing a lot of manatees. We will be taking our tour with Swim with Manatees. Here is their phone number. They also have a website available where they do their bookings online, easy peasy. So the website is snorkelwithmanatees.com. They do tours here at Homosassa River, but they also do tours over at Crystal River. This is our captain for today. Hi guys. I am so excited about this. Are you ready for that manatee magic? I am so ready for manatee magic. Well, let's go find uh, it. Let's do this. The name of this boat is called the Giggling Porpoise. The Giggling Porpoise. So we are going by Monkey Island right now. And you can see they're doing some renovation for the monkeys, but they still are out. Oh, he's getting some sun. I honestly can't think of anything else to do. The love of the manatees, the magic is just so surreal, serene. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's a sunny and beautiful day today. We've had really, really cold temperatures here in Florida, so I was a little nervous that we might get rained on or something, but it is nice and blue. It is pretty cold. I mean, I want to say cold for Florida. I think we've got about 60 degree weather today, but that works in our favor since all the manatees will be trying to escape the cold waters over at the sea. So hopefully they'll migrate and make their way over here. We already saw one actually. I was too slow with the camera, but we already saw one and we're not even in the area where they usually gather. So now we're on the Homosassa River. This Homosassa stands for River of Peppers and also an abundance of fish. So we might even see some dolphins up here. Oh really? I didn't realize how close we were to the shore, the, the coast. Yeah, 11 miles from here to the Gulf. Oh. Um, that's where the mantis come in at. Now we have resident mantis that live here all year, so oh, we okay. do this every day. Oh, that's nice. In the cooler okay. months, like now, we're going to see more mantis because they come in to stay warm and survive. Oh wow, there they go. Yeah, there's about three of them yeah, right there. Them. Yeah, they're quick. Yeah. I thought they were slow. Oh no. Oh, there's a calf. Oh. Yeah. This is a passive observation, and we're out here really just living with the mantis for a few hours. If one swims by, don't swim after to try to touch it. Just enjoy that moment and let something else happen. Um, this is not about touching, feeding, getting selfies. It's about living with them. Now, while you're in there and you ha do have your water camera with you, you will have manatees often pose for you. So you're going to get in the water. It's going to be a little exhilarating. All right. So when you step down, you guys can put your cute little feet and toes in the water, and you're going to be like. Oh, this ain't so bad. Well, then you get down to your knees and your thighs, you're like, this ain't so bad. And then when the water gets near the butt cracky, that's when it becomes a religious experience. <laughs> Dear God. How far was the area from um, where we were docked to the area where you normally swim? Like, how long was that little cruise? About a mile and a half. Okay. That was a nice, peaceful cruise up. We already saw, like, 10 vanities or so. I'm so excited about this. Ah! <laughs> Hi, Chunky Monkey. <laughs> Look at him! Oh my goodness! Hi, pumpkin! Oh, wow! <laughs> We've seen a whole bunch of fish, a lot of different types of fish, a couple of jumping fish. The gentleman going by in a kayak said that there were a couple of dolphins out, but today it's all about the manatees. And we're now in the area where we will probably get out of the boat. We see some swimmers straight ahead. They said that the dock here is part of the state park the wildlife park i do see some manatees i mean honestly they're almost everywhere danny's going in first I'm going in. Woo, baby boy <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. 
Alright, alright. Alright, alright, alright. Oh my goodness! <laughs> A very mm. interesting feeling. <laughs> Just a minute, so. <laughs> Alright, alright. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. I, yeah, I got this. Oh my goodness, he's right there. He's right in front of us. Let's see. I'm gonna put the camera underwater. See. Hopefully we can get a good shot. Yeah. Man, I see it's super close. Right, I'm gonna go on the side of him. I wanna be right in front of him. There he is. Water temperature, it is a little cool, but it stays around 72 degrees year round, so it's not that bad, especially with the sun out, it feels kind of nice. I'm not sure I will dunk my head in. I know Eddie's got his goggles on, so he'll be able to get you a little bit better underwater shots. I believe there are a couple around the area that I'm at now. He can see a little better on top of the boat, and he'll kind of tell you like which angle to look at. Oh, I see him now, I see him now. Of course, the summer is ideal for the springs because it's a lot warmer outside, but the water temperature stays the same pretty much the whole time. It honestly really isn't that bad, especially with the wetsuit. I'm very thankful for the wetsuit. But the winter time, so from November to March, is when you'll see a bit more manatee action. The manatees come throughout the year, but you'll see a lot more during the winter time. In order to swim with the manatees, it is best to use a knowledgeable tour company who will give you the education to get into the waters with the manatees safely and sustainably. Tour guides out here must be registered with the environmental agency and they are trained in how to safely swim with the manatees. My main concern wasn't necessarily about my safety, but for the safety of the manatees. I wanted to make sure that I kept them safe since they are letting me enter their world. We got really great advice on how to enter the waters, not to chase the manatees, but let them approach you, and then how to act when and if they do approach you. Also to keep a calm and peaceful environment when they're around. I felt really confident getting into the waters today. Oh, oh, oh. oh wow. <laughs> Someone's got a new friend. What a cutie, I know, we're best friends now. <laughs> I'm like literally trying to like back away from him and give him space, but he keeps coming up to me. <laughs> coming right to you. This was the magic we were looking for right here. It just started. Oh, you keep going down. Oh, hello there. Hi. <laughs> That's so cool. They're so friendly. They just wanting to hang out with us. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> That's amazing. I, I just didn't expect them to just come and hang out with us the whole time. That's so neat. That's that's the magic part. Yeah, that's amazing. Because they chose to do this. Right, yeah. I'm trying to be respectful, but he keeps coming over, like right now. Oh! <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's trying to give you a kiss, jeez! Oh, oh yeah, their breath is horrible. <laughs> oh my god! That's well, so cool! Just look, relax and let it move around you. It's having fun with you, Eddie. <laughs> Danny isn't jealous. <laughs> snorkel with Manatees has a few different tours available. All of them will include wetsuits, snorkel gear, a float noodle, and the cruise over to the swimming area. They do have private tours or they have group tours, which will remain a small group of six at the most. And you can take a three hour group tour for 65 a person or a four hour tour for a little more. Definitely check out their website and a huge shout out to Captain Gene who was not only super knowledgeable but also a lot of fun to be around and his love for the manatees really made the experience even more special for us. Keep in mind they do have lodging over at the Florida Cracker or Riverside Resort and there's a lot more to do around town. I saw airboat tours, people kayaking, fishing, hiking. 
local and fresh food over at the restaurants. Such a nice getaway for me from that city life. Yeah. He was absolutely loving the camera. This one's a star. He's just hanging out. It's just too funny. Well, there's a couple reasons why. One, you guys are doing a great job. It's not threatened. Yeah, so he's just enjoying that that chunk of rope. Yeah. yeah those are rope. <laughs> he's getting his his dental work in right now. <laughs> Definitely our best friend now. <laughs> he's just like hanging out. Oh, bothers us. <laughs> I think when he gets like real close to you, he looks like he's gonna give you like a, a so Eskimo close. kiss. You get so close. <laughs> Why is he trying to go away from me? I know. <laughs> I'm like trying to give it a space. Right. <laughs> Right up to you, that's weird. Look at that. <laughs> I love that, it's so cool. Very Florida experience, but I'm loving it. Haven't seen any alligators. I know people get worried when we go to the springs, they're like, is that gator infested? But we haven't seen any, so far at least. He said that this area um, doesn't quite get them as much as maybe some of the areas yeah, do. Yeah, as I say, Gene said that you don't get gators in the the water here right maybe in the summer you might see a few but not often like like some other places at least what do you think his name is um his name is i don't know george <laughs> his name is george oh <laughs> oh <laughs> I don't want to leave him though, he's so cute. <laughs> Gene, Gene said we can't take him. Aw oh, man. He said the wildlife, uh, the <laughs> rangers might get involved or something. Yeah, somebody's not going to let you do it at 1 o'clock in the morning. What'd you do at the manatee? <laughs> Checking your pool. It's really cool. He just hung out with us the whole time. I feel like I was out there for an hour just like chilling with him. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a very personal experience. Yeah. You know, like the theme parks and stuff, which are great. This is more of a personal family experience. Absolutely. That was amazing. Captain Gene just served up some um boat latte. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hot chocolate with marshmallows. And to top it off, a really cool peppermint spoon. A literal a literal spoon. <laughs> That's so cool. This is much needed. It is a little chilly now. Time to head back to the docks. Saying goodbye to our friend. What did we name him? George? Hi, Georgie! And as we are heading back, I'm already seeing a lot more manatees. So they just kind of cruise up and down this river. Oh, here's a couple. Whoa! And you can see the little ripples where there's more in this area. But they cruise up and down, trying to keep themselves warm in one spot, trying to find food in another spot. This was truly an amazing experience. A very Florida experience, I keep saying, but just one like no other. I am so thankful to have the chance to come out here and do this. I would highly, highly recommend it. Close back to the docking area, going by Monkey Island again. There's also airboats in this area that you can do a tour. They also have a monkey bar with food and drinks, ice cream it looks like. Ooh. The Florida Cracker Hotel sits right alongside the river here and it's got a very country-like, home-like feel to it. I bet in the summer it is popping over here. There are a lot of bars sitting alongside the river as well. That was one of the best experiences I've had. That was amazing. It was just like magical. I felt like inspired, you know, I felt like at one, especially with the one manatee that hung out with us forever. It's really educational. Yes. Right? Yes. Um, 
Jean has like years of experience Incredible. and a lot of um, a wealth of knowledge so he was able to answer all our questions absolutely um, he gave us like the right kind of guidance to yes. interact with the manatees so that was awesome yeah definitely to keep not only us safe but I was more worried about like the manatees keeping the manatees safe rather yeah. than us I mean as soon as I was out there I was comfortable but I just wanted to make sure that I respected him and in, in his natural habitat and mm -hmm. our captain like he said Gene just gave us all the information before we even got in the water and then while we were in the water as yeah. well so we were like you know being real cautious and cool and like really non-threatening and trying to be quiet and the manatees just came to us yeah yeah <laughs> like you would i would try to like kind of swim like yeah. away and it just kind of kept following you around like just it would just get in your face <laughs> It was weird. Oh, we like, I loved her. They're like, oh man. That was amazing. And they do these year round, so you mm -hmm. don't have to come during the winter season. They do offer these all year, even in the summer. And it really mm -hmm. just takes that one manatee to make your experience amazing like it was. I mean, mm -hmm. even though in the summer there might be less manatees, I'd still come. Yeah, I'd still Jean just said do that, it. Jean said that there are um, resident manatees that just live here year round. Yes. And then that there are some. Uh, like the migratory ones come here during the cold weather. Yeah, yeah. So, so that was amazing. Now we are gonna go try to find some food around town. Jean gave us a really great um, name for a local spot that we're gonna head to now because we're pretty hungry and then we'll head back to Orlando. Just a little bit down the road is the freezer and this is where Jean recommended that we stop for some food. It is a Monday so a few things were closed but I'm ready for some maybe local fish? Yeah. Yeah. And they have dinners and lunches. Clam chowder in a bread bowl sounds so good right now because of how cold it is right now. But they also have smoked mullet filet, smoked salmon filet, tilapia. Oh my gosh. It's definitely hometown bar kind of feel. I'm loving it. It's nice and warm. You do have an outside area, but they do have an enclosed area. The food smells so good and the beers are only $2 for the most part. We're sitting Riverside, we've got a little marina behind Eddie there. Yes, we need to pull your boat. We went with the clam chowder inside of a bread bowl. Now this is a bread bowl. I mean, the one that I've caught the other day. <laughs> it was like this big. They even toast the top of it. Oh, yum. Oh, yeah. And then we got the tilapia and a side garlic of toast bread. as well, or a side of garlic bread. Ooh, oh, my God. Chowda. Chowda. Get it right. Yeah, that's pretty good. Not like super like fishy, you know? That's a good head of tilapia. Not that I know very much about fish, but that's good. This is the best bread bowl I've ever had in my life. It's so good. Really good. I want to get another one. <laughs> Oh, I know we're debating on it. And that's gonna do it for today's adventure. It's such a really great experience. Mm -hmm. I had so much fun. Yeah. There was just great vibes, great food, a really great captain leading us away, a really fun little manatee that we made friends <laughs> with. Now we gotta head back to the city. Thank you so much for driving out here and joining me, Eddie. And thank you for watching. Until next time, I love you guys. Peace. <laughs>